Much of New Zealand's conservation success has been achieved on predator-free offshore islands, which are often closed to the public for the wildlife's own good. This, of course, makes it tricky for us to enjoy it, but there are three key sites where we can see wildlife in a natural environment. These are Tiritiri Matangi, Kapiti Island and here on Olva Island, and they're called open sanctuaries. This place has never been logged. It, it's virginal forest. So the others have always um, they've been logged or farmed and replanted. This is the most pristine place you can come to in New Zealand. What are some of the bird species that you've brought over here? We brought over saddleback for a start, and then we brought mohur or yellowheads, which are quite in, getting endangered in the South Island. Stewart Island robins, then we brought riflemen over, because they went extinct on the main Stewart Island about 92. And then we, we tried bringing fern bird, but we're not sure whether that's been successful or not yet. The Olver Island Trust is um, formed by a dedicated team of Stuart Islanders who are really quite emphatic about the island and, and love the island. And the Trust helped raise money to bring some of the birds to come here and also to help raise money to put these wonderful gravel tracks that we have here to make it um, you know, easy for people to enjoy the island. And you've had a very special visitor over here. Well, Sirocco um, came to visit Stuart Highland. He's one of the Kākāpō, one of the 86 that are left. He was over here for about eight weeks, and he had his big special pen where he lived in, and then he had his viewing pen where the visitors were able to come and visit him in the evening. And it gives New Zealanders and overseas people um, the opportunity to see a bird that is really, really special and you really only read about in the paper. Do you think that with all the people that come here to Tiri, Tiri Martingi and perhaps don't have a very good understanding of New Zealand ecology and conservation, do you think they go away and become advocates for conservation? Well, we hope so. I mean, we hope it maybe makes them feel it's time they got involved with the project in their own backyard. Because I have had people say that to me, you know, Tiri was so inspirational for them that they then got involved in a local project somewhere else. Uh, which is what it's all about, isn't it? Yeah. I think Terry's been a great role model for other uh, conservation projects. We're standing on the edge of a scientific reserve. Behind us is a marine reserve. Behind that is Kapiti Island Sanctuary. So, so it's, it's a it's, special bit of country. Chris, what are some of the benefits you're starting to see? I guess the, the major one is the increase in marine life around Kapiti Island now it's been so effective that we're all catching bigger fish. Open sanctuaries are a fantastic and interactive way to experience nature the way it should be. And there's probably one closer than you think.